these two masses are tied together by a string that passes over a pulley. The hanging mass falls toward the ground and drags the upper mass against the force of kinetic friction that acts on this upper mass. Here is a free body diagram, although the mass is sliding in the opposite direction here. Mass M1 slides along a tabletop having friction coefficient mu k. Mass M2 is attached to M1 with a rope that hangs over a pulley. The hanging mass drags the other mass across the table. As the mass on the table resists being accelerated, the string becomes stretched taut. Both blocks have the same velocity and acceleration because they are tied together by a string. In a system of two masses, choose one coordinate system for both masses and write the sum of the forces equals ma separately for each mass. Choose to have the plus x axis to the right. When m1 is moving to the right, we have m2 moving downward. To keep consistent motions, we pretend as if the pulley redirects the positive x axis downward for the hanging mass. For mass m1, the sum of the forces is a positive tension T minus the leftward kinetic frictional force Fk equals m1a. The kinetic frictional force is always mu kn, and for this table on a flat surface, the normal force is m1g, so the kinetic frictional force equals mu k m1g. For mass m2, the sum of the forces equals minus t plus m2g equals m2a. So we now have two equations for two unknowns. We can also write F equals MA for the system of mass M1 plus M2. We draw a circle around M1 and M2 and add up only the force arrows that poke through the envelope. In this case, the sum of the external forces, not those between the masses, gives M2G minus FK equals M1 plus M2 times A. Now the track is tilted by angle theta. The mass on the track is great enough to pull the hanging mass upward. Here is a free body diagram. Two masses are tied together by a string that is looped over a pulley. Both masses are tied together so they move with the same velocity and the same acceleration. What is the acceleration of the larger mass, M2, downward along the incline. Put the plus x axis upward for the hanging mass, m1, and then the pulley redirects the plus x axis down the incline for mass m2. The forces that act on m1 are the upward tension t, which points in the positive x direction, and the downward negative weight, m1g. The forces that act on m2 are the downward weight m2g, a normal force, a tension that points in the minus x direction, and a kinetic frictional force that points in the minus x direction. For the hanging mass m1, we have the sum of the x forces equals plus t minus m1g equals m1a. This time, we break the weight of m2 into x and y components. For m2, we have the sum of the y forces equals n minus m2g cosine theta equals zero, which gives n equals m2g cosine theta and the kinetic frictional force equals mu k m2g cosine theta. The sum of the x forces equals m2g sine theta minus t minus fk equals m2a, or m2g sine theta minus t minus mu k m 2 g cosine theta equals m 2 a. Please add the first and last equations to get this. Cancel t and show that this will be the acceleration. The first equation could now be used to obtain the tension. Mass big M slides along a frictionless floor. 
mass little m slides along the frictionless surface of big M. If big M is bolted in place, little m would simply slide down the incline. Force P pushes big M to the right, causing both masses to accelerate rightward. When the push P is just right, mass little m does not move along the incline. A larger push P would make little m slide upward along the incline that is big M. A smaller push P would make little m slide downward along the incline. Let's write F equals MA for the case when P is just right and mass M does not move along the incline. Point the plus X axis rightward so that the acceleration lies entirely in the X direction. The forces on little m are the downward and negative weight mg and the normal force n, which must be broken into x and y components. For a mass little m, the sum of the y components of forces equals n cosine theta minus mg equals zero, and the sum of the x components of forces equals n sine theta equals ma. The horizontal component of the normal force is accelerating mass little m to the right. Once again, we form tan theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, which we write as n sine theta over n cosine theta, but n sine theta is ma and n cosine theta is mg. We cancel m and have tan theta equals a over g, so a equals g tan theta. If theta is 18 degrees, please calculate the acceleration A. For the system of combined mass, little m plus big M, we have the sum of the external forces equals P equals little m plus big M times A.